Yeah, he'll hold it out of the next day. He put his hand up and my hand. He hugged me and was going to touch the floor out of the place. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. You might want to wait until after the judges are going to
man. Amen. Page 188. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for the amazing grace. Amen. Let me in my sin to save me from my sin. Amen. All right. Amen. Y'all page 188? Amen. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever men may say. I see His hand of mercy, I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I need Him, He's always near. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me, He talks with me, along my narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to Just 
said to me, it's under the blood. Yeah.
Amen. Well, it's God that's good. Amen. Amen. Both of them songs are good. Amen. 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 Boy, I tell you right now, I don't tear you up. Something's tore up. Anyway. Amen. Lord, help. That's good singing right there. Amen. My goodness, if you know him like I know him. I'm going to tell you right now, they, they don't even know what I'm preaching, and that just goes right along with what I'm preaching. Amen. Man, I love that song. So when I walk by, come up here and sing that first verse again. Amen. Come up here and sing that first verse again. Amen. <laughs> They're going to abandon you. They ain't going up here. Sing that first verse again. Amen. I walk by the tomb of Buddha. Tell us what you saw. Amen. days, you don't need your own. Amen. Thank God there was enough of Joseph Arimathea and Nicodemus believed enough they took him down there to a bar or two. Amen. Preparation wasn't for the death. I believe they was just ready for him to come back. They wanted it to be real nice when he came back. Yeah. Amen. When the stone rolled away, they didn't want him to find some kind of empty tomb. They wanted to them know there was a home coming, a welcoming back. Amen. Amen. Thank God I met that man. Amen. He is alive today. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I'll tell you right now, them songs there. That ought to break revival out right Amen. there. Psalm chapter 12. When you find verse 1, would you stand with me for the honor of reading the Word of God this morning? Yes. Amen. Once again, the reason I'm not wearing a suit coat, one one that glitter on it, the other one I got dirty, and the other one's got coffee on I got here. So my wife didn't send me out of the house looking like this. I did this all on my own. <laughs> now I'm smiling, about to cry in here in a minute. No, come on, brother. Lord, if you knew him like I know him. Amen. I think that's a misinterpretation today. Because I think people think that the preacher wants them to do this and the church people wants them to do that. It's not that. I just want you to know him like I know him. That's right. Amen. Amen. He'll dig the bottom of the barrel from whatever he wants. Amen. You say, how do you know that brother Hardy? Can you prove that by the Bible? I don't have to. I'm going to listen. I was that one that was down there real Amen. low. Amen. Amen. Didn't have a good pedigree. Amen. Didn't have a, That's right. a good upbringing. Come on, man. Bless you. But I met a man. Hey. Amen. When I met a man, I'm going to tell you, I've not been as faithful to him. That's right, brother. Right, as he's been to me. Amen. Amen. And that's what I'm going to preach on this morning. Amen. Stop and fail. Psalm chapter 12, verse 1 of the Bible says, Help, Lord, for the God of man sees them. For the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak in vanity, every one of his neighbors, and flattering lips with a double heart for this speak. The Lord shall cut off flattering lips and tongues that speaketh proud things. We have said, with our tongue will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is the Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I rise, said the Lord, I will send him in safety for him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, silver tried to furnace and birth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. 
I want you to understand what you're reading from verses 2 to verses 8 is the outcome of verse 1. Amen. But you don't have to have verses 2 through 8. Right. Unless you do verse 1. Right. And I'm going to preach on that here this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask you, God, to open the ears and the hearts of you people this morning. And God, Jesus, I ask you, Lord, to bless this message now, God. And help maybe this morning one, Lord, that needs to be saved. Maybe there's one that needs to rededicate. Maybe there's one that needs revival. Yes. And God, we come in a church service like this and we sometimes have a premeditated mindset of what's going to be said or, God, maybe even what be preached. But God, this morning, put away all distractions, Lord, and remove any type of enemy from us this morning. God, that our hearts and our ears and our minds be open unto your word. Lord, we love you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want you to really look down at verse 1 this morning. And we see the obvious. I've preached in these contexts of these verses before. But something really jumped out at me in my Bible reading. As David is crying out here and he says, Help, Lord. Amen. I, I see that David recognizes the problems that are going on. David recognizes what the people are doing and what they're going through. These may have been people that once walked with the Lord, maybe have served the Lord. And I can identify that by what I'm going to say here in a minute. Amen. But somewhere along the line, the train jumped the tracks and has been off board. Amen. Somewhere along the line, the car derailed. Somewhere along the line, something went real awry in their life. And I see David crying out, and this is what he says. He says, for the godly man ceaseth. And that word ceaseth literally means to stop. And he says, the godly man ceaseth, therefore he stopped. And he says, for the faithful fail." from among the children of men. That word cease means to stop. And so what the Bible is telling me is somewhere along the line, they just stop. Amen. And when they stop, they fail. Amen. They became failures Amen. in their walk. They became failures in their life. They became failures. And I don't know about you, but I have felt that feeling of failure before. And it is a horrible feeling. It's a depressive feeling. It's yep. a feeling of brokenness. And, and this morning, dear friend, I want you to listen to me. According to the Word of God, you're not a failure, though, unless you stop. Right. You have not failed God, and you have not failed the people, and you have not failed everybody else unless, right. unless you stop along the way. Amen. Unless somewhere there's a, a word of quit in you. Somewhere that you become in one or, or be in decline. And until the, the moment that you stop trying, you are still doing and still fighting. You do not become a failure until you literally come to a place yep. of stop. Amen. And I want you to listen to me this morning. Good preacher. I'm not preaching to one or two. I'm preaching Amen. to a boatload this morning. Amen. And I want you to listen to me. I'll out-preach you. And don't worry about it. I'll let everybody look up here. That child's fine. So that's the end. It's a good place for him to be. Leave him right there. Right. He's fine. Honest and goodness, he's fine. He ain't bothering nobody. Again. I, I, want, I don't want nobody to feel that way. I want you to listen to the preacher this morning. I want you to really catch on to the words this morning. That so many of my preaching to this morning, you are not in the place where God would have you to be. You are not in the place where God would want you to be. You're not in a place that God had you to be. And where you are at is somewhere along the line. You may have had a failure. You have made a mistake. I've talked to many of you this week, and you're in a bad boat this morning. But the only way you'll become a failure is if you stop and stay right where you're at. Amen. The only way you become a failure is if you stop in the place that you're at. If you come to a place where you throw your hands up and you say, God, if you don't do something, I quit. And that's when you become a failure. There has to come a time when there's no quit in you. Amen. Amen. They're fucking stuck. Amen. There has to come that time in you. And some of you this 
morning, you're on the very verge of stopping. You're on the very verge of ceasing. And when you do, the rest of the verses of this Bible will overtake your soul. You will come against the Word of God. You'll come against the will of God. You'll come into a place where you find out God don't play and the wrath of God is real. And if you come to this place, then you're the failure. You're not a failure as long as you keep climbing, as long as you keep churning. I saw a cartoon one time when a mouse was standing on the top of, I'm sorry, it was in milk, and he was drowning, and the little mouse kept kicking, and the little mouse kept kicking. And finally, the other mouse that was next to him said, I give up. We've lost the fight. We failed in our endeavor. And that mouse went down and drowned to death. The other mouse never quit kicking until he churned enough milk to turn butter and he walked out of the situation. I'm going to tell you, you're not a failure till you quit along the way. Amen. Amen. I love that when that little mouse jumped out of heaven and had a little butter to go with him. Amen. 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 Not only did God deliver and gave him a little butter, Amen. 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 a little butter along the way, a little treat to know. I'm telling you right there, friend, and God not only can bring you up out of the muck and the mire, and God not only can reestablish you, and God not only can renew you, and God can not only do that, but hey, He'll just go ahead and bless you along the way. Amen. Amen. I see what David is saying. David's looking around and he's saying, God, help them. Amen. Amen. They're stopping and they're failing. Amen. But thanks be to God, the words of the Lord are pure words. They said we're tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. He said, thank God, no matter what they're doing, your word's still good, God. Amen. Some of you this morning, you need salvation. Amen. Amen. Some of you need a born again experience. Amen. Right now your heart is thumping out of your chest. Right now God is knocking on your heart. Amen. And God is telling you, you are lost. You are undone. The things of God make no sense. It makes no sense to wear clothes. It makes no sense to read your Bible. It makes no sense to pray. It makes no sense to do right. Are y'all listening to this preacher this morning? Tell me you this morning. God's telling you, if you're saved, hey, the pew you're sitting on is a cubby of pigeons. Amen. 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 God tell us some of you this morning, you've been saved and your life ain't never seen salvation. You've been changed for just about five and a half seconds, but after that, you've lived on for the last five, ten, fifteen, twenty years, however long it's been, and God ain't never had a change in your life. You say, Brother Hargis, that's me this morning. I'm the hypocrite. I'm the liar. I'm a failure. You won't get up out of your pew because you feel like you've let everybody down. You won't get saved because you're scared what everybody Amen. will think. And I'll tell you this morning, dear friend, hey, that's a lie from the gates of hell. Amen. You are not a failure in this thing that called salvation unless you stop and stay right where you're at. Amen. Unless you don't move this morning. That's you right. say, Brother Harkness, I'm unworthy to be saved. I have failed God. I've lied to everybody. I've lived a life of sin. I've lived a life of mischief. I've lived a life of deceit. Well, honey, welcome to the club. Hey, but I'll tell you right now, that difference between you and I is I may be a sinner, but I'm a sinner. I got saved by grace. I'm a sinner. I got washed in the blood. And now I'm a saint of God. It ain't because of what I did, but who I came to. Amen. You say, but you don't understand, Brother Hargis, that you don't understand if I got up now, I'd be the mocker and the hypocrite. No, you would not be the failure that Amen. never tells you are right. unless you stop from hearing God's word, unless you stop from responding to the altar call. Amen. I'm telling you right now, dear friend, you're not a failure in the eyes of God. You can get saved this morning. Amen. I can hear the echoing words of Revelation 3.20. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. I can tell you right now, there's a door that's been opened unto you. You just got to turn the knob. And I guarantee you this morning, there are some of you that God is rattling your heart and your words don't make sense. Your attitude don't make sense. Your reaction don't make sense. Your life don't make sense. And you say, but if I get saved, I'll be a failure. No, if you get saved, if you will only get up and get more than I tell you, we won't get more than you. And we won't get up and You don't know how long I 
put on the string. I'm a complete failure. I'll tell you right now, no, you're not. The only way you can fail is stopping God from wanting to do what He wants to do. I thank God right now according to Romans chapter 10 and verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I promise from God this morning the reason you're in the condition you're in, the reason that conviction never stops you. Amen. It's preaching time. Amen. The reason conviction never stops you. Come on, brother. Amen. From lying. Amen. The reason conviction never stops you from doing wrong. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Never that time did God ever tell you wrong and you stop and say, you know what? Hey, I'm telling you, I'm going to do it right because it's the right thing to do. Amen. Some of you are missing that capture inside you because without that, yeah. Holy Ghost. Conviction. That's yeah. right. Amen. Without the Holy Ghost leave. Yeah. Amen. That's why you stop every service when God knocks on your heart and says, get up and get yeah. saved. Get up and get saved. You know you're not saved. Get up and get saved. And you sit there and say, to yeah, if I do that, then this will happen. If I do that, then this will happen. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, the only way you're a failure this morning is that yeah. God's rattling your heart. And you know that you need to get born again. And you don't respond. That's when you'll fail in your yeah. 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 And one day you'll be falling forever. One day you'll be found right. forever. One day you'll fall through the uh, through the war, the webs, uh, the webs uh, that are weaving by your sin as a rock through spider webs yeah. right down to the depths of an almighty hell. And can I tell you this morning that right now that what God desires is for all you to come that need Him. And He said in John six thirty seven, if any man would come unto Him, He no wise cast him out. He would not stop you from coming. He wants you to come. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be reborn. I'm talking about this morning. Some need salvation and will fail to get it because they'll stop at His call. This morning, you know good and well God's right on your chain. Because I'm going to say something very serious. Some of you, before ever coming here, were wicked as hell. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Ghost never visits you where you was at. Amen. But you came to this church. Yep. And all of a sudden, the preaching bothered you. Amen. Mm-hmm. And the thought of the preacher bothered you. Mm-hmm. And you said, well, that must be Holy Ghost conviction. Because the preacher bothers me and the church standard bothers me. Yep. Come on, brother. Amen. Amen. But if you was really saved before you came, then the Holy Ghost should have bothered you. Hello, brother. Somewhere should have took the preacher to help you find it out. He said that if you're his sheep, his sheep hear his voice. Amen. And know it. Amen. And if you Ain't never felt conviction outside of London Baptist Church. Yeah. Where's God at yeah. in Amen. that life? That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. You say, but I can't. I fail. If you fail, it's because you didn't. Because you stopped. You know God don't drive you to do nothing. Amen. This is a social club event for most. Come on. Come on, brother. Amen. 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 I got a friend. I ain't got to come to church make friends. If I say amen. 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 Now, all right. Come on, brother. It's preaching time. Amen. If I want somebody to go shoot with, I know who to call. Amen. When I come to church, I ain't come to get nobody to go shoot with. Amen. I come for God. And if God ain't ever convicted me outside of being at the church, I tell you, that's a lack of salvation. Amen. 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 That's right. They come in. Don't never bother. Amen. Because they got saved. Mm-hmm. So how long have you been saved? Long time. And all them years of salvation. Holy Ghost ain't never visited you. It's doorstep. Amen. Somebody help me this morning. Amen. I must be reading somebody's mail. It's getting on a spell like a bad 
Walked in and you ain't never had the Holy Ghost sit down on your couch yeah. and say, shut that off. Yeah. You old backslidden yeah. heathen. Yeah. They never had no clothes, but some of you did not wear enough work to put in a shotgun and yeah. walk up for a black powder shot. And the Holy Ghost ain't never sat down to your lap and said, Hey, you ain't Christ right. Amen. I'm not mad at you new Christians. You know what I know say you new Christians? Hey, look at me. Y'all may make mistakes, but I tell you when God walks up on you, hey, I'm telling you, you can see the chastisement. Yeah. What bothers me, some of you so-called veterans ain't got none of that. Amen. God ain't never sat down while you were looking at your porn and while you was watching your nudity and watching your nakedness and watching all that and say, hey! Right. Sit around somewhere! Amen. Amen. You ain't never broke out in a cold sweat. Amen. Not worry about what the preacher thinks or what the church thinks or what any man thinks, but to worry about what the God of heaven and earth thinks. I mean, they never had a moment where God reached down. Hey, it ought not have to be everybody else that stirs you up. It ought not have to be everybody else wakes you up. If you really got saved, then God ought to bother you over that. And if God doesn't bother you over that, preach on. Something wrong. Well, I, I don't know. I hope, I hope sister so so seems like it. Amen. Amen, brother. Y'all all right? Yeah. It's preaching time. Oh, I don't want sister so I don't want sister Dory seem like it. Amen. You imagine running to me. And I say, oh, sister Dory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen, brother. She might just have said, you failed. Amen. Somewhere along the line, you stopped. Amen. God wanted you and God desired you and God knocked on your heart and somewhere along the line you just stopped. Amen. God said, come on, come unto me, all you delivered. And every lane, I'll give you rest. I can hear him beckoning the call for the saved. And so many knows that this morning they ain't no more saved than a washcloth. Amen. That's, right, amen. Amen. That's why when wrong goes wrong, they're okay doing wrong. Amen. All right. Okay, standing in the gap for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I know yeah. about seven of you right now. I think I'm talking about you, the individual. <laughs> Come on, brother. Hey, I'm going to call all seven of you out. I'll do it right now if you need to. Come on, brother. Yeah. Are y'all all right? It's preaching. Amen. Hey, man. I was talking to Wes out of Portland. I said, got to be careful. I said, because I watch what I say. I said, I'm going to have about ten. I think I'm talking just about them this yeah. morning. Come on. Then the Wes. Hey, man. Man. Preaching time. Amen. Hey, these new converts don't bother me when they make their mistakes. I watch conviction being up on them. They'll get off. Ah, 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 ah. But what about some of you veterans that nothing ever bothers you? Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. That's right. Help, Lord. They supposed to be godly, but they ceased. Amen. And the faithful failed. By the way, when David was crying that day, hey, they didn't even have the Holy Ghost to that time. Amen. 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 Some of you this morning already feel like a failure, and that ain't God, and that ain't the conviction of the Holy Ghost. That's, That's right. Satan telling you to stay in your seat, yeah. and when the altar call comes, That's and if right. you die and go to hell, it won't because God failed, yeah. it won't because His yeah. Word failed, yeah. it won't because the Holy Ghost failed, yeah. and because Amen. you stopped and you failed. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Amen. If you did get saved, there will be conviction. Hey. Y'all not be able to smoke a doobie. Preach on. That's right, amen. Y'all not if you drink, you're going to feel so convicted on the drink. Amen. Preach it. You saved and you drink. My wife said I was a schizophrenic when I tried to backslide on. Amen. Somebody help me. Can I get a witness somewhere? Amen. Some stare at me. Some of y'all don't even know what conviction feels like. Amen. You get wrong and nothing bothers you. Somebody help me. Hey, I'm talking about conviction. Want to beat you up? He want to whoop you down? He want to shake you up? The word you only got one thing to do, and that's to look up to God. Amen. Amen. If that ain't you, hey, tell me where you came at new man. Amen. That's right. Tell me where you came at new man. Amen. Amen. Tell me how you got to a place where you can backslide. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. Help me right there. 
Hey, messing up, by the way, necessarily don't mean you mess it just means you messed up. And God can make a right and new. But I'll tell you right now, if you're deep down in Egypt, you've been there for a while. And you got the smell of lentils. You got all that on you. And you've been there for quite some good time. And they've never been bothered by it. Hey, tell me when you got saved. Hey, man. Hey, man. Well, when you fall and fell through the end of your moments, Amen. I got one point two to see, but I got to preach on. Preach on. Amen. Preach on. Preach if on, you bro. fail in this endeavor, there's not a restart at the end of the game. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. I used to play Mario Brothers. I don't want y'all to play these days. <laughs> Duck hunting. And, and if I didn't like how the game went, we had an television. How many of you older folks remember Pong? I just owed y'all. <laughs> well, there was a pong game. I heard. There was. Yeah. And we would we would try to put two little paddles and knock the ball back. Had a had a graphics of a bad color break. That's right. <laughs> and if you was beat me at pong, if I beat my uncle Walt, he was a sore loser. Yeah. And right when the final score, man, that thing be getting, you know, boop, boop, boop. and I know it's going past him because that thing moved. And they would go away. And he reached over and turned the fire off on me. Amen. Now he was a Marine, two tour Vietnam. Amen. Purple heart. Amen. Amen. I got the shrapnel that was pulled out of his body that I'm not kidding you was that long and that thick. I got the shrapnel. Mike gave me the shrapnel. And, and you didn't mess with him. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I just mad he get him a reset. He said, Oh, it looked like he blitzed. Let's try it again. <laughs> My sister will testify. We depended on our family. I had, I had all uncles that were all Marines. Imagine trying to grow up that mess. Amen. All Vietnam vet Marines. Amen. They didn't talk about not Vietnam. You didn't have to. They were scary enough to know what Vietnam was like. Right. Amen. But understand, they ain't no reset button on this side. Amen. Amen. Bible says it's the point of a man wants to die. And after this, the judgment. And the judgment you'll stand before will not be your good intentions. It will not be your church membership. It will not be your baptismal certificate. It will be when did you not stop and go all the way through and give God your whole heart. Amen. Amen. said, look here, there's water. What does hinder me? Hinder the way of resistance. He said, what's resisting me from getting baptized? He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all thy might. That's right. Amen. It's a full heart conversion. God don't take leftovers. Amen. That's right. He don't take broken winged doves. Amen. He doesn't take limping lambs. Amen. He take broken souls. Amen. He'll take right. contract spirits. Amen. But he won't take part of nothing. He'll take it all or nothing. That's right. all. That's Amen. That's a he'll, take, he'll take it all or not at all. Amen. What about you this morning? I wonder how many of you right now feel like, man, I'm I'm needing that salvation. Amen. But don't worry, you'll sit through the rest of the message. Tell us about it, brother. You'll sit through the rest of the message. You're under so much conviction right now, you feel like that if you could, you would get under the floor. Amen. <laughs> But you'll sit through the rest of the message. It's okay. Just, see, you know something. You know what Brother Harvest will keep on preaching to the other people and the devil will tell you, see, you're fine. See, that's you. You're just you're just backslid. That's all you are. Can I tell you, when I backslid, God, God would beat the snot out of me. And I start questioning my salvation. Amen. Amen. When I went back into Bluegrass Pike Baptist Church, Amen. I didn't walk up her dog. She was a up. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm already been saved. I'm good. Amen. No, sir. I feel like when I come through them back doors, I'm telling you right now, the scares. I, I never. I, listen, y'all pray for me. Everybody, in my family talks marvelous. And Miss Dory, I got up that parking lot, coming in from Fort Knox, Kentucky, full battle ready. I was dropping gear trying to just get down the uniform just to get inside that building. I was like, <laughs> 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 sweat pouring down. 
look like somebody took a bottle of water. My armpits were disgusting. <laughs> and I was wearing camouflage. I scrubbed out. I said, man, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We shouldn't be here. This is a bad idea. I want to get back to my vehicle and drive off. Yep. Because I said, I've been this before. I've felt God before. And what if He don't want me back? Amen. Amen. Maybe I'm not even saved. Amen. Amen. Man, I remember when I came in there and I got up that altar. I didn't tell God, God, you remember what I did. Amen. God, you remember what I will. Do you remember who my parents is yeah. and how I did this and how I did that? Come on. Amen. Never happened. Come on. Amen. Never happened. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost conviction hit me. I mean, I crawled up there to that altar. I mean, I've been figuring it on my knees. And that. But when I got up there, I wasn't telling God what I've done. I was crying out, God, would you even want me to come back? Amen, Amen. brother. Amen. Some of y'all ain't rededicated your life. Because you so saved and live so like hell. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Are y'all listening? Good. Amen. So saved. Yep. So live like hell. Mm -hmm. And never once did rededicate to the one that saved you and loved you. Amen. Ever came to your mind. Amen. First thing that makes sense to me was to get up and go. I'm a horrible person. I got saved and I quit on him and Amen. I'm horrible and I I, 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 didn't, I didn't even know what to say. I remember he was going back there to eat something and I just I went to the preacher and said the stupidest stuff to him. <laughs> Amen, brother. Come on. Amen. Amen. When outside that church, I used to get burned for things of God. I woke my wife up in the middle of the night one time and said, We don't go to church. God's gonna kill me. She didn't understand none of it. When did you have that happen? Well, I feel like I'm preaching to the wall. When did you have that happen? Where it hits you hard and you said, Oh, God, help me. If I don't run back to the house of God, I might perish. I'd be worried about my salvation. Amen. I'd be worried about failing God for the final time and falling into the devil's hell. Yes. May I say this morning, some may need to repent. You have fallen into sin and the echoing words of God's heart is I don't want you to be in it. Amen. Why, God, would you not want me to be in it? Well, number one, it will destroy you. It will displace you. And it will break you. Amen. And God said, I don't want you to be there. In fact, when the way of temptation comes, I'm going to make a way to escape it. Amen, Amen. that's right. Now, I'm preaching to a specific crowd this morning. Come on, brother. Some of you have went through the right doors at times. Amen. Don't y'all block me out now. Sometime along the way, temptation come up, you said, listen, I'm going to go through this door here. I'm going to get out of this. Amen. I ain't going to mess with that junk no more. Amen. Now, this is supposed to say, folks, lost folks. Lost folks don't ever do nothing outside of just skid by the teeth. Amen. But every now and then, say, folks, say, no, I'm not going back to that. Amen. Amen. I ain't going back to that. But if somewhere along the line you say, folks, listen to me now. Lost Amen. folk, don't listen to what I got to say. You just be real nervous for the rest of this service that this building don't fall down and you go Amen. Amen. Right. Lost folk, don't listen to what I got to say. Lost folk, be nervous for the rest of the time that the building don't blow up. Amen. But for same folk, some of y'all need to hear this real bad. This Amen. There's one door. Amen. You just chose not to go. Amen. And the consequences of your decision has burdened you. Amen. The consequences of your decision has now broken you. Now, I'm preaching to folks that just mess up from now. Mm -hmm. If you just live in that world, Amen. don't come to me and say I'm just back to it. But this one time, but this one time. Yep. 
Y'all pray for you, preacher. Amen. I've had ways to escape. And I said stupid stuff like this. I got this. Yeah. Amen. I can handle this. Amen. I, I got I'll figure it out. I figure it out. And God said, but, but, but I gave you a door. Yeah. You see, yeah, but God, this this one time, this one time. Yep. I'm not gonna go through that door. Yeah. I'm gonna go away and sin drop to me. Amen. And this morning, yep. you're broken. And that's what the devil's telling you right now. You're a failure. Amen. Amen. You're a failure to God. You're a failure to your church. And you're a failure to your preacher. Amen. And that's a lie of hell. Yes, sir. Amen. Hey! You're still here. Yep. Amen. It's a lie of hell. Because here's what the devil wants to do. He'll say, look, you done messed up? Go and bury yourself. Go have fun with it. Yep. Yep. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't go back to that place that makes me feel guilty. Amen. 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 Right. That's right. I wouldn't go back under a preacher that when he preaches, it makes me He's always preaching. You know, it's just you to preach to. Yep. Amen. Amen. Everybody else are saints. Let me help every one of you in here. Yep. Look to the left and to the right, and you ain't none of these people saints. I know them pretty well. Amen. 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 And if they tell you they are, come talk to me. Amen. Amen. Hey man, if anybody tells you that they're better than you, hey, come talk to me. Amen. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. Amen. Our pews get empty because when failures happen, they feel like they're a failure. Might as well just quit. Yep. yep. That's right. Might as well just lay her down. Some of you under so much conviction right now. Hey, you ought to be happy under conviction. That means God's still whooping your hind end for the wrong Amen. doings you're doing. Amen. 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 Some of you, it's a, it ain't phasing me. I'd be real scared. I'd get saved this morning. Amen. If I wouldn't get my hand, had my butt handed me, and I knew I was in sin, I'd be real scared this morning. Amen. Amen. But if you're getting your butt handed to you, Congratulations. Amen. I know you're a son and not a bastard. Amen. 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 You said, but I feel like a failure. I've been there. Dude, until you come in wearing Velcro pants and jacket. <laughs> and he starts preaching on hell's bells. Amen. And your ringtone is hell's bells. <laughs> and every pocket in your check goes... <laughs> and you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. You was told me you should have been in church too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. That's why I say, I said, the devil my sister called me that time. <laughs> hey, man. That preacher up there preaching, he said, that. anybody that listens to rock music, hey, Hey, I would get sin, but I thank God I got a Savior that drags me out of sin. And if you ain't never dragged you out of sin, you ain't got a Savior. Oh, my God, please rapture us. Amen. Don't let that get so on my head. Amen. My wife's over here just staring up there like she did. And God is my witness. She was lost and scooted down. <laughs> God knew how to single me. But let's say what nobody. The people sitting behind me was just make sure nobody thought it was them. John C. Stop preaching to look over at me. I'm going to die. I wish I'd die. I was too good a shape then to have heart attacks. Amen. Amen. And I know what that feels like. It feels like you failed God. Amen. Amen. But you know what? Then I looked around and I thought, you know what? At least I'm here. 
If I'm here, I still have an opportunity to get right with God. If I at least came here, I can still hear the preaching of the Word of God. If I come here, I can still feel the conviction of the Holy Ghost. If I come here, at least I have an opportunity to get right. right. Amen. You know what I did? I used a big word called repentance. Amen. Now, some of you, this is what repentance is. I'm so sorry. Come on, brother. Tell us about it. Preach on. Tell us. It won't happen hardly that much again. Amen. And I was like, well, did you just say not much again? Amen. And I'm sorry you said it. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Amen. I, I had more than probably eight people that had talked to me this way. They said, man, I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know where I'm going to be. And I'm going to go. It won't happen as much often. It's much often, man. <laughs> That's you saying it's going to happen, but. You said, well, the hearts were all just flesh. We're all just grass. And yeah, but greater is he that's in me. That he that's in the world. The Philippians 4 13, I can do all things through Christ for streaming. And I know you're getting real quiet. Listen to me. I'm not dumb. I've been doing this a long time. When conviction hits as hard as it's hitting this morning, the amens disappear and the old me show up. Amen. Amen. Now you can get on Facebook and get home and bad and talk me all you want. Amen. Amen. You can get on your Twitter. Somebody help me. Amen. Social media. Amen. Our preacher's just so mean of everything. Preach He's so Amen. mean of everything. Tell me one mean thing I say. Amen. 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 Repentance. You, repentance is misunderstood today. Number one, do not confess to me what you've done. Amen. Amen. Yep. Repentance means that there's a turning of heart and mind. Yep. You don't go back. See, when God repented Himself of the evil He was going to do to Israel, He wasn't in sin. He Amen. changed His heart and mind from their sin that He was going to destroy them for. Amen. Thank God He didn't go back on that. Amen. Amen. See, that's when it becomes real repentance. When He says He repenteth me, that means He had quite made His mind up yet. Amen. Are y'all with me? Yep. Amen. Yep. Some of y'all repent ain't no good at all. Amen. It's like a bankrupt dial you. Amen. God, I tell you what I'm going to do, Lord. Hey, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do that anymore. I turned from that. And I, God, I'm not. God, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Lord, I'm coming to you. God, you know I love you. God. I'm going to get a hold of my, my God, I'm serious this time. God, I'm really going to repent. God, you just, God, you, I'm telling you, Lord, you hang it. Amen. Man. It feels like I'm living two lives, Brother Hardy. Yeah, because you're a double-minded man. Amen. And you're unstable in all your ways, Amen. James said. Amen. Means you know what you're going to do? You're going to take care of it. You're going to handle it. You're going to put your focus right. And when you get it right, God will help you. No, Amen. friend, that ain't how it works. It's when you get really broken for it and say, God, if you don't help me, I'll be back over there Amen. in about five minutes. Amen. 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 You know why I'm married for 17 years? Because of his help. Amen. 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 Do you know if the grace continues, I'll be passing for seven years, September the 15th? Amen. Because of his help. Because if he ever would have took his hand off, if I ever would have tried this to do my way, I wouldn't be here. Amen. You know how I overcame smoking? You know how I overcame cussing? You know how I overcame all the great things I've overcome? Amen. You know, most of you right now are seeing an overcomer in your head. Repent. Amen. You know why I was able to do that? Because I quit trying to figure out how I could help. Right. Or what I could do. Some of you, uh, I'll give you a good example. Some of you want to quit smoking, so you're going to stair step down. Amen. Come on. You will no. never quit smoking because no. you are still helping the formula. Amen. Right. 
sooner or later, you just got to look at him and say, if you don't step in, God. That's right, amen. amen. God, if you don't move in, God, if you don't help me, you're going to be back over there in about amen. five minutes. Yeah, right. amen. Some of you are struggling to even come to church. Amen. Because you forgot your reliance on why you come to church. Amen. You forgot your need and your necessity for being in church. You know why I watch a lot of guys quit being preachers? Because they start preaching for man instead of preaching for Amen. God. Amen. Amen. I told myself a long time ago, I had a man called the same time I got called to preach. That same man, not too long ago, stuck a gun in him for this down ex-wife's face. And they separate. And I remember when I messaged him when they first came back from the destination and I asked him, I said, What happened? Is it somewhere along the line, but Micah just quit trusting God? Help, Lord! The godly man has stopped. He sees it. And the faithful have fallen. Some of you this morning, you may just need a revival. A revival to the Spirit. Can I say for sure, if the last one was you, you definitely need a revival. Amen. Amen. You need God to stir something in your heart. Amen. Can I tell you, can I give you guys a few more things I'll be done preaching? Can y'all, can you bear from Pastor about two Amen. more minutes? Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Come on. Let me tell you the first sign of a cold heart is the avoidance of the brethren. That's right. When all of a sudden being around the brethren is the last thing. You got family that are shacked up. You've got family that are on drugs. You've got family who hate God. Yep. And you will eat with them. Mm -hmm. But the least of your... Are you also with me? Yeah, Come on, brother. Yeah, yeah. But who you think the least of in here should trump every one of them. Amen. Amen. If they don't, your heart's grown cold in the face of God. Amen. Amen. If the person that you have the least compatibility with and this church doesn't mean more to you than those of the world. Yep. Yeah, man, that's right. Right. I'm not saying you gotta go to everybody's house and sit down and eat. Right. I'm not saying you gotta go to everybody's house and, and do birthday parties. But I'll tell you this if you would stop what you're doing to go help somebody of the world. Yep. Amen. And one of somebody in this room called you and you wouldn't. Amen. You're ice cold in your heart. Amen. Because if you're comfortable even eating with shacked up people or hanging out with people that are in sin, Amen. if you're in the you're backslidden anyway. Amen. Amen. If they sat down and you broke bread with, with people that are lost and backslidden and living in bad city, listen, you're, you're, you're backslidden anyway. You need to get right on that. Amen. But I'm going to tell you what we need a revival of. We need a revival of the love of God in our heart Amen. Amen. toward one another. Amen. It's what a broken church of. There's a lack Amen. of desire for each other. Some of you need revival this morning. Amen. If you're going to be honest, <laughs> you pick that up, please. Amen. I got you. Some of you that's been struggling yeah. to sleep, you're welcome. <laughs> Just put that Bible down. It takes 20 minutes to probably think of it. Uh, you're welcome. See, all that was having a hard time. Just saying about three of you, I got you covered. But this morning, if that's you I'm talking to, you said, Brother Horace, I've been doing wrong. I've been heading the wrong direction. I want you to stop where you're heading. And not stop heading in a new direction. Amen. 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 
Friend, I want you to listen to me this morning. We all come to this place. And I know it's been a long message, good long singing. Singing has been a lot better than preaching, but don't, don't block me out just yet, okay? Amen. We've all come to this place. You come to a place where you feel like you're just kind of going through the motions. And I'm going to tell you why you're here. It's a lack of investment. Y'all listen to me? And, and some of y'all are going to say, well, I give money. I'm not, I'm not talking about your financial That's right. That's your time. You owe that to God whether you want to be right with Him or not. That's right. That's Finances that's right. is not necessarily that's investment. Right. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. But I want you to hear me. You're not doing anything for God. Amen. You're not doing anything. So I, I come to church Sunday morning and say, that's what God's doing for you. Amen. That's all God said. That, me, me coming up here to preach, if you look at me and say, Brother Hargis, if you preach it, is that your service to God? No, God lets me do this. Amen. Amen. This is the smallest part of my ministry. Amen. The one o'clock, two o'clock. I, I counseled one night to almost midnight. And got up and had me at the hospital. And I got there 45 minutes late, but it worked out. But I had to be at the hospital the next morning. I've got people that don't go here that's granddaughters are fighting for their lives. And they don't live near us, but they expect me to, to pray for them. And, I, and they already expect that. I've got families that I've got to work on this and families that need this and I've got people that are struggling, I've got people that are falling, I've got people that don't. That's actually where the service comes in. Preaching is what I get to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Anybody that's called preach wants to preach. Amen. So church Sunday morning, Sunday school, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, your friend said, that's God's gift to us. We get to do it. Amen. We get to have a Bible preach yep. to us. We get to hear beautiful songs. So I'm not asking you about what God's given you this morning. What are you giving back to God? Where's your investment at in this church? It means more to you when you're serving. Amen. 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 You know, this morning, I'm talking to different people in different situations and different sides of all this. And I'm going to say to the lost folk in here, you know that God knocked on your heart. The devil's worked this entire time, this entire time, telling you to ignore the rest of the message. But I wonder how many be honest and say this morning, Brother Hargis, that was me that you're preached to about needs to get saved. And I have walked out of here many times knowing that it was me that needs to be saved. But this morning, I'm not going to fail anymore. I'm going to come forward. Is there anybody like that this morning? So, Brother Hargis, it's me you're preaching to this morning in salvation. Right now, the devil's saying, okay. Don't raise your hand. Stop, stop, stop. Don't raise your hand. Don't put your hand up. Don't react. Don't come forward. Amen. Don't do it. Stop. Stop where you're at. And right now, that's where you're going to fail. I wonder if any this morning have said, Brother Hargis, I prayed, but I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't even know what I was praying to. I, I, I didn't follow up with Baptist, but Hargis really didn't understand. But Brother Hargis, I mean, come to church enough now. But I've got the grasp of what I need to do. And brother, I just really need to do it this morning. I need to really get saved Amen. this morning. Brother Hargis, I need you to kind of help me along the way. Is there anybody like that this morning at all? That'll be between you and God when you walk out of here. I try it. I wonder how many be honest this morning and say, Brother Hargis. I'm a godly man that has stopped. I've ceased it somewhere in my life. 